Mitt Romney is back, and he's going to do an interview with Sean Hannity, who will proceed to fillet him. You know that if the president were to be reelected, he he would still be unable to work with members of Congress. He's ignored them. He's attacked them. He's blamed them. And of course, the debt ceiling, it's going to come up again. And then there'd be a threat of shutdown or, or default. And that, of course, chills the economy, puts more people out of work. The president was right when he said he can't change Washington for the inside. Wow, that prophetic warning was issued back in 2012 by then presidential candidate Mitt Romney. And now less than one year later, surprise, surprise, Obama won't negotiate. The government shut down. Our tax and spend president is about to call on our Congress to once again raise the debt ceiling. Here for an exclusive interview to explain why he sounded the alarm about the dangers of Obama's second term. The man himself, former Massachusetts governor, presidential candidate Mitt Romney. Governor, how are you? It's been, I have not interviewed you since uh, the election. Um, welcome back. Thanks, Sean. Good to be with you again. How are you and your family doing? I'm sure that's not an easy thing to go through. If you go, you spend a, two years of your life out on the campaign trail, you, you're that close. How hard is it? Well, Sean, it's, it's nice to get back to, uh, to real living and normal life. Yeah. Uh, but I can also tell you that running for president is a fabulous experience. The people you meet, the character of the country you come to know in a, in a very fundamental way is something I'll never forget. And by the way, if anyone that is watching gets a chance to run for president, do it. It's a great experience. Are you encouraging me to run, Governor? Because I don't think I'm going to run. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely, Sean. Anyone who gets the chance ought to do it. I might get two. I might get three votes, maybe four, if I was lucky. Um, well, let me you know, everything you said there now come in the pass. I mean, do you, well, is there any party that wants to say I told you so? Well, look, I, I don't want to look backward, of course. What we want to do is find the best way to get this country working again and putting more people to work. And uh, my concern was that the president in his first term uh, pushed through things on a partisan basis, was unable to work across the aisle, and then spent uh, the, the last two years of his first term attacking Republicans in Congress and showing an unwillingness to reach across the aisle. And, and frankly, you can't get things done in a bipartisan uh, nature where you have three branches of government unless all three branches are willing to work with each other. And this president has not shown that inclination frankly, since he's been in office, and the country's in the balance. I mean, a, uh, the government shutdown, a, a debt limit uh, uh, issue, the, these are real concerns that will affect a lot of people, and the president has got to engage and work in the job of governing, uh, not just campaigning and posturing, but governing and, and working with people uh, that agree with him and that disagree with him. These guys are such goofballs. They're really stuck in the 1950s. Just as a side note real fast, don't they look like two G.I. Joes or, or Ken dolls or whatever generic 1950s, leave it to beaver dads, if you will. They just sit there like fucking, you know, pla like they're all plastic and, well, hello there, governor. How are you doing today? Is it nice being so rich? Oh, and that's the other thing I love. Uh, Hannity's like, are you okay, governor? It must be so hard going through that experience. <laughs> It must be so hard being so massively rich and having a car elevator. Dude, it, it, you know what's hard? Being really poor. Not having a home. Not having health care. Going bankrupt because you can't pay your kids medical bills. Oh, come on, I can go on and on of things that are harder. But no, uh, Sean Hannity's sympathies lie with Mitt Romney. Um, but I mean, look, look at the substance of what he's saying there. Uh, Romney saying, well, look, obviously I was right. Obama's just too partisan. Obama's too partisan. Are we talking about the same Obama? Do you remember his first term and this term too? How many times has he bent over backwards to try to appease the Republicans? You know, they always go, oh my God, the stimulus, wasteful spending. Really? Then why is it that uh, one third of it is your ideas? Obama had a supermajority for the stimulus, and he still reached out to the Republicans and took their ideas, and one-third of it was uh, tax cuts, which is exactly what they wanted. Or how about the health care bill? We didn't do single-payer, which is the actual liberal position. We didn't do a public option, which is watered-down liberal position. We did the individual mandate, which is a right-wing idea from the Heritage Foundation. But, oh, no, Obama, he doesn't negotiate. He's a, he negotiates too much with your dumbasses. Uh, and then... Um, I love how Hannity praises Mitch's prediction. He played the clip of Mitt. 
where he says, well, Obama can't work with Congress, and see, there's going to be the debt ceiling that comes up again, and there's going to be this, and uh, Hannity's so impressed. Oh, man, did you have a crystal ball? Dude, the reason why anybody could have predicted that is because the GOP has been, has been obstinate all along. So all you got to do is realize how the GOP acts and says, and say, yeah, there's going to be some problems down the road, not because of Obama, but because of those guys right there. Don't take my word for it. Listen to what Mitch McConnell said after Obama had won his first time around. Our top political priority over the next two years should be to deny President Obama a second term. Our top political priority. Not, hey, obviously first comes the American people, or not, hey, first is jobs, or, hey, look, first is our country because we're patriots. Our top political priority is to deny Obama a second term. You know what that means? We will obstruct absolutely everything, and if it looks like he got nothing done and you could blame it all on him, then they'll vote for the Republican the next time around. Well, that didn't work out, did it, buddy? And by the way, to this idea, which has been echoed in the right-wing bubble for decades, that the Democrats don't negotiate. Oh my God, Obama doesn't negotiate. He never negotiates. Uh, yes, he does. He negotiates too much. Don't take my word for it. Take John Boehner's word for it. And when you look at uh, this, this final agreement uh, that we came to with the White House, you know, I got 98% of what I wanted. I'm pretty happy. I rest my case.